When I was a kid, I loved the idea of finding a new planet way away from the sun. You know, we might have just like found one, right? Hey guys, Amy and Trace with you on D News Today. The biggest news in the world. Nope, bigger. Okay, the biggest news in the solar system is that researchers from the California Institute of Technology might have found a new planet. Currently known as Planet Nine, this new discovery could be hugely significant. Planet Nine has about 10 times the mass of Earth and is probably close in size to Neptune. On top of that, it is so far away. This giant planet orbits roughly 2.8 billion miles from the sun, making its year last between 10 and 20,000 Earth years. Amy, this planet is bonkers. And before you ask, it is definitely a planet. According to the International Astronomical Union definition, a planet needs to orbit the sun, check, be massive enough to be round, double check, and have enough gravitational pull to clear its orbit, triple check. In fact, between its size and distance from the sun, Planet Nine dominates an area larger than any other giant planet we know of. This is so cool, except, you know, full disclosure, we haven't actually seen Planet Nine. Yeah, true. For the moment, this new planet is theoretical, which raises a very interesting question. If this planet has been in our own solar system this whole time, why are we only finding it now? Well, because we weren't looking for it. This was kind of an accident. In 1992, astronomers at the University of Hawaii discovered this small object orbiting out past the dwarf planet Pluto, at least 40 times the distance from Earth to the Sun. Since then, astronomers have been scanning this region called the Kuiper Belt and reporting on their findings. During these scans, a research team at Caltech noticed that six of the 13 most distant known Kuiper Belt objects clump together in a strange way. The objects all travel at different rates, but they all have similarly elliptical orbits tilted from our own. Another pair of researchers tried to figure out what was causing these small bodies to behave so strangely, but also so similarly. By mapping the gravity and orbit of all the known objects, they determined there's just not enough mass in that part of the Kuiper Belt to affect them like this. The Kuiper Belt would need to be more than 100 times more massive to be the culprit. So what else could be causing this weird behavior? A massive planet. By trying different arrangements using computer simulations, the researchers determined the only thing that could cause that gravitation effect would be a massive planet way out in the Kuiper Belt. This is how they found Planet Nine. This might sound like a lot of sketchy guesswork, but it's actually a viable method of finding planets that has worked before. In the early 1800s, astronomers tracking the newly discovered planet Uranus noticed that it didn't follow the orbit mathematical models said it should. The only explanation was that some other planet was out there tugging on Uranus, so they used Newtonian laws to mathematically predict where and what that object should be, and lo and behold, they found Neptune orbiting roughly where the mystery object was predicted. Once astronomers had mathematical models showing where to look for Neptune, Neptune, it was pretty easy to spot it. I mean, considering the scale of the solar system, Neptune is not that far away for a powerful telescope. Planet Nine, on the other hand, is not only really far away, astronomers don't totally know where to look for it just yet. As researchers continue to refine their simulations, they'll learn more about Planet Nine's orbit and influence on the distant solar system. And in the meantime, astronomers are going to start sky hunting. If the planet is at its closest point to the sun right now, it should be visible in images gathered during previous surveys. But if it's at its furthest from the sun, it might still be visible, though we'd need the world's largest telescopes to spot it. If it's there, and according to the math it probably is, Planet Nine could change the understanding of our solar system. If you want to explore more spacey things with me, check out my own channel, Vintage Space, where I dig into all kinds of things related to early space exploration. In the early 1960s, NASA did look into building a donut-shaped inflatable space station, but it never got off the ground, in large part because the agency was laser-focused on getting a man to the moon by the end of the 1960s. Amy, what do you think we're going to name this planet? Like, we do Roman stuff, so Planet Bacchus? Going to go somewhere else, like Planeta Nueve? Planet Trace? I like that. That sounds good. You could do that. What would you guys name it? Let us know down in the comments. Make sure you subscribe for more D News and also subscribe to Amy's channel. And thanks for watching.